Hello everyone, this is the fourth part of the Counter-Strike 1.6 dedicated server tutorial. In the previous part, I explained how to do the basic configuration of the server and launch your server for the first time. Obviously, it didn't accept the connection because the ports were not open. So, in this part, I will teach you how to open these ports. So, what are ports? Ports allow applications such as, in this case, our CS server hlds.exe to have their own custom internet connection over our router. So if we want to allow hlds.exe to have its own internet connection over our router, we need to tell the router to open the specific port to allow this application. We have already set our port in the properties of the server and we are going to open this port now. So there are two ways to open ports. The first is dependent from router to router. It will be a little bit different on different routers or modems whatever you call it. I have used my Petal 450TC1 router to open the ports. The layout of options in the router configuration page will be different for different routers but the procedure to do and select the options in the configuration page would be almost the same. The second way is a universal way. It will work on every router you have and you don't need to change the procedure. If you are using a data card to connect to the internet, you don't need to open the ports. But if you use a router or a modem given by your internet service provider, you need to open port in the router. So, first of all, I will be telling you how to open the port in the first way, in the way which differs from router to router. Why I am gonna tell you this way, not just the universal way, because this is this way is the standard way which every Counter Strike tutorial or every tutorial on how to open port tells. It is the standard way by opening your router configuration page. In the next video, I will tell you how to open the port, the universal or the way which would work for every router. So let's just get started. First of all, what you are gonna do is go to start. Let me get my magnifier. Go to start. All programs. Scroll up. Go to accessories and choose command prompt. And here type IP config. IPCONFIG. Hit enter. <coughs> Here in the wireless LAN adapter, because I have connected my PC to a wi to my Wi-Fi router. Here you see the IPv4 address, which is 192.168.1.7, and see the default gateway, which is 192.168.1.1. So what we are going to do is open our browser. I will be using Google Chrome. Go to the address bar and type here the default gateway of your wireless connection, which is 192. 192.168.1.1. So you have to type the default gateway in the address bar. Here it will ask you for the username and password. Type admin in the username and in the password also type admin and click on login. If the password admin doesn't work, type password in the password. That is type password P A S S W O R D in the password. So the password must be either admin or password. Okay. Here you go to advanced setup. Now go to NAT below the advanced setup. Go to virtual server. This is my MTNL router, MTNL Wi Fi router. And in the virtual server, Choose root index as 1. In application, type HLDS. 
leave this you don't need this in protocol select all or tcp udp combination is all basically in start port number we are going to enter the port number which we have set in the hlds properties that is 27019 in the end port number also type 27019 in the local ip address type the ip address type the ip v4 address of your wireless lan adapter which is 192.168.1.7 so i will be typing it 192.168.1.7 so in the start port number type 27019 and in the end port number local also type 27019 and now hit save my port is open now this is my port which is open now so what i'm going to do is now launch my hlds server sometimes to open the port you also need to restart your router to open the port but it happens very rarely so i am not going to do it now so now i am going to start my server i will click on hlds.exe and it have started so to check if it is connected or not again i am going to visit css dot city dot info and here i will type my ip which i will get it from what is my ip dot com i'm not gonna type the ip before address given in given here i will type my ip from what is my ip dot com i will copy it so i will paste my ip is to my port which is 27019 we'll get my magnifier select game type as counter strike 1.6 captcha is r3 wr add server i will try again okay this time my server got connected it says verifying my ip is to port got key server reply nine steam validation rejected fail server deny server denied me this is because css city is a non steam client and my server is ready just to connect the steam clients so if i want to connect both steam and non steam clients I will have to make it compatible with non-steam. How to make it compatible with non-steam and steam? I will be telling you it in my next to next tutorial. And to know what is steam and what is non-steam, if you are a non-steam client or a steam client, do watch that tutorial. So for now, our router is successfully configured on the port 27019 for our IP. 192.168.1.7 and a server is ready to use with steam so if you are unable to configure the port on your router by visiting the page because the router configuration page would be different for different routers so don't worry in the next tutorial i will be telling you how to open the port in a universal way which will work for every router so do watch the tutorial Thank you and stay tuned.